Hey everyone, Brandon from Quest Hockey and the Hockey Players Club. In this video, we're gonna talk about cutting and taping your new hockey stick. So first step is cutting our new twig down to size. I always use my old stick as reference. For those out there that maybe don't have an old stick or maybe their old stick was broken, or is broken, excuse me, um, I normally tell people that somewhere between the bottom of your chin and the top or the bottom of your nose is a good height. I personally like my stick on skates to about the bottom of my lips. Um, again, it's all preference. Just be careful with having too long of a stick that might cause your hands up towards your body and inhibit some of your stick handling and shooting. Um, but again, since I have an old stick, I'm just going to use a Sharpie and mark right along the shaft so it's the exact same size. Now, I don't like the plastic end caps that come in these one pieces nowadays. If you do, you would want to count for that when you're marking your stick. So let's go to the pro shop and get this bad boy cut. Pro tip for getting these pain in the ass blade stickers off your blade is use a little heat gun to help you. Clean as a whistle. So now that our twig is cut down to size, we gotta get this thing taped up. I always start with the butt end. Uh, again, if you're like me and you don't use an end cap, I'd highly recommend taping over the top of the uh, butt end. And even if you do use an end cap, I would suggest putting a strip, if not two strips of tape, over the top just to help avoid it coming out uh, while you play. So again, just making sure that top is all closed up. I use a regular width white HPC tape um, for my butt end. I do prefer white. They say black tends to eat through your gloves a little bit faster. I uh, use a pretty unorthodox butt end. So I'm gonna use white underneath to have some grip. And then I'm actually gonna cover it with our uh, red sports tape grip tape up top. So if you don't know this trick, uh, I just fasten one end of the tape up to a hook in the locker room. Uh, make sure you rip this off though, don't be a dick to our rink owners. But I'm just spinning the tape right now, so I'm gonna use that as like, uh, almost like a rope underneath my, my grip tape to uh, provide some grip. You see Crosby uses a lot, a lot of players will have it underneath their butt end where it has a nice like space, so like in between your fingers. Again, mine's a little unorthodox, so my, my tape rope, if you will, is gonna be pretty tight. So now I'm going to use this start up top and just start making my way down around the shaft. All right, so now that I have the, uh, the tape rope, the grip underneath, I'm going to cover it with two layers of the red gauze sports, uh, sports tape. And I highly recommend anytime you use the grip tape to put one layer of just normal cloth tape at the bottom to avoid it coming apart while you're playing. Alright, the butt end's ready to go. Again, mine's uh, pretty unorthodox, pretty goofy looking, but just how I like it feels great. So on to the blade. So everyone debates whether you like white or black tape on your blade. Uh, lately, I've been going white. When I played, to be honest with you, I went back and forth, whatever I was feeling, whatever uh, I was scoring goals with at that moment. And if I wasn't scoring any goals, I was probably going back and forth. But right now, I'm really feeling the wide white. So I'm going to go wide white. I like to go heel to toe. Some players like to go toe to heel. Give me any rationale you want. I don't really think it makes much of a difference. Um, I just think it's a, you know, you want to try and make sure you have a smooth tape job, not big, uh, bubbles or big gaps in between your tape, unless you're David Pasternak, you can get away with that. Now I like to have a toe covered tape job, if you will, so I'm gonna make sure to pinch the ends 
uh, to try and square off the tape and I'll come back with scissors afterwards and make a nice smooth edge. So now I go back with the scissors, cut off this excess tape, and we're gonna have a dirty looking toe covered TJ right here. Now at this point, I'm all set. My butt ends taped, my blades taped, looking good, feeling good. Some players like to add either uh, some wax on their stick. We have some awesome HBC wax, by the way. Check that out if you're a wax user. Uh, some guys, you have to use a puck, but again, for me, I'm all set to uh, dangle, snipe, and selling.